Hey guys, Roy from Worldwide Farrier Supply for Glue You and Glue Shoe. I'm gonna show you today our urethane uh, cushion. It's a uh, sole support. Uh, we have four versions. We have the super soft, which is 820, the soft that is 830, the medium, which is the one that we're gonna be using today is 850, and the firm is 860. Uh, this horse has a little bruising on the sole due to being a little flat footed and, and working. So we're gonna protect his soul and give him some support by doing a pour on. The other thing we're gonna be using is the glue U mesh. And it's much wider, much larger. So if you have, this horse has a size odd foot, so it's, it doesn't matter, but size four, size five shoes, this one will accommodate those very well. And then our new foam boards that as you can see, the traditional foam boards are a little smaller. This one gives you a larger area if you have a bigger footed horse. So we're going to go with this one today just to see how it works. And I already trimmed the horse, hot fitted him. The only thing we have to do is do the mesh and nail it on and do our pour. Okay, we set our shoe over the mesh and now we're going to trim off the mesh to fit the shoe. Just a rough cut, just so I can handle it a little easier with the roll out of the way. I'm gonna hold it all the way to the end. I'm gonna trim off the excess. And as you can see, this mesh is, is a little stiffer, so it allows you to hold it without rolling back into a circle. And now we have it, I have to cut for the clips and then we'll, we'll go over and put it on. All right, we have the mesh fitted for our shoe, and this is still a fabric uh, mesh. It's not like the gutter guard or any of those plastic meshes. Uh, this is just coated a little harder, so you see how flat it stays without folding back on. So we're gonna set our shoe. All right, we're gonna pull the paper. We're gonna set it on. I'm gonna let him stand on it, just to create a little concavity on it. So we're gonna remove the cap and we're gonna make sure that we equalize both sides. You see one is coming out before the other one a little bit. Now we have both at the same level. And now it's important to keep it upright until we put our tip. And we're gonna mix and throw some out. And then through the back of the foot, we're just gonna pump it. until it's completely full. We're gonna hold it there for a couple of seconds. And today is a cool day, so it's gonna take a little longer to set, but you see it's really liquid and I didn't have to stick my tip all the way to the end. And now I'm just working it to get any air bubbles out. And we put the foot down. Now the excess will run out, out of the back because that's creating a little concavity on the pad. And then we'll wait until it's set and remove the foam board. Still a little tacky because today has been a cooler day, but in another couple of minutes, this tackiness will go away. And uh, there you have it. <laughs> 